Okay. All right, folks, it's the Witch Doctor and Son of Froggy here at Horror Hound 2011. And right now we've got an interview with an amazing guest. You know his face from countless films and television shows, Mr. Daniel Robach, everybody. Give him a big hand. Hey! How are you? How are you? Okay, all right. All right, let's get in. Okay. All right. Ah, yeah. Ah. Okay. Now, Mr. Robach. You truly have had a, an extremely long and varied career in television and film. People have seen you in things such as The Devil's Rejects. On television, you're probably best known for Lost. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, what is the most rewarding project that you've worked on? This. <laughs> I gotcha. All right, now, uh, is, am I also correct that uh, you have a special tie to the horror host industry because you are also Dr. Shocker, is that correct? Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you, son of Froggy. Th we're, uh, you've got a beautiful, huge studio here at Horror Hound Mask Fest. Um, yes, I am Dr. Shocker. Uh, Dr. Shocker is a, an homage to my horror host, Dr. Shock. Uh, and although you are a real horror host, Witch Doctor, and you, son of Froggy, are a real horror host, uh, I I am a, a pretender because I'm just an actor who plays a horror host, but I, I try to do it well. I try to do it uh, with uh, some panache. I, I hope your audience doesn't mind French words. No, no, no. They're fine. Uh, and let me tell you, he's being extremely modest. I've seen the man work. Fantastic things. Now, we also have a very large uh, audience of, of families. Oh, I thought you were going to say we have a very large green puppet head guy next to us. Uh, well, we don't point out the obvious very much, except in my writing. Uh, we have an extremely large uh, family audience, so many of the folks at home will probably have seen you in a recurring role on Sunny with a Chance, where you played. I play Mr. Condor on Sunny with a Chance, and... Uh, uh, I, if you enjoy that sort of thing, I've been Wizards of Waverly Place and, and Glee as well. That's right. And the, the most interesting thing that I found on your IMDb biography is, in addition to your many, many credits, it states that you bear a slight resemblance to Lee Majors Jr. Would you agree? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. Next to, hey, you want to sit on a couch with a witch doctor and son of froggy uh no that's that's ridiculous although i will tell you when i comb my hair i go thank you for laughing yeah and uh it, i also understand that you are a huge collector of classic universal monsters memorabilia that is true although i've been dispersing my collection lately uh you could still see it in, in its entirety at uh danielrobuck.com people if they go to the uh the bottom, it says House of Horror. You can see it. Also, I would ask people if you enjoy, if you enjoy this kind of thing, uh, please uh, become a fan of the Daniel Roebuck fan page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is the most prized item in your collection? Oh, um, we have a lot of great stuff. Uh, see, that's you know they always ask the question, "What would you grab if there was a fire?" And I say. Uh, I wouldn't grab anything if there's a fire. Why would I die for a stupid toy? But uh, um, I just, uh, I'd say the old Don Post masks are some of my favorite things. Okie dokie. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, and right now we're going to take you back to the movie, uh, more of the Magic Sword. Daniel Roebuck, ladies and gentlemen, heck of a guy. Woo! 